Hi, I'm looking to book. Um, it's gonna be a multiple stopovers. I wonder if you could assist me. Final destination, Philippines, and then Philippines home, and then a stopover in Europe. Would that be possible? Okay, and then Singapore to Manila on the... Um, yeah, so you're good? Ah. Thank you so much! You're welcome! This I'm is so excited. excited about your trip. It's already on your email. Do you want to check it? Yeah, I'll and check it. Fabio, it's booked! <laughs> Let me make a Facebook status. And Oh, it's finally happening. March until now, there was still a lot of doubt in our heads. Like, are we actually doing this? Yeah. We can't back out now because we told everyone already. And now we're doing it. And now it's happening. It's happening, guys. Congrats. Oh my god. Guys. Yeah, I guess that's it. We'll see you in Chiang Mai. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> Is it it's actually done. happening? We're gonna be broke. <laughs> <laughs> guys, we made it. Bye, guys. <laughs> so today's video, I'm gonna tell you how we only paid $1,000 to travel the world for a year. So long story short, the answer is through travel hacking. I already created a dedicated video about travel hacking. I will link it down below. I'm not gonna say it anymore in this video because I'll be repeating myself 10 times. I would suggest go check that out first. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the steps that we took and the process that we did for booking the flights for only a thousand dollars for one year so if you don't know yet my partner and I are traveling the world for a year next year um, technically it's not the world but we are traveling in Southeast Asia Asia mostly and then a lot of Europe all of Europe mostly and then we're gonna do the neighboring Middle Eastern country that is below that we're also gonna hit Morocco Egypt um, Dubai Turkey and a lot anything that's close by us so just a quick recap what travel hacking is if anybody is asking you what it is and the easiest way to explain to your family and friends about this new hobby that you found online so what travel hacking is what it is is pretty much traveling around the world for a very cheap price by earning collecting and redeeming miles and points now in my travel hacking video I explained there that the easiest way to earn miles and points is by collecting and signing up for credit cards travel credit card to be specific travel credit cards if you sign up for them they have sign up bonuses and these sign up bonuses could be applied to travel points and you could use them for your future travel and sometimes you could pay for your flights hotels car rentals or any travel needs again i'm trying so hard not to repeat myself because i explained it thoroughly already in that video the steps that you should take um, the steps in travel hacking and which credit card you should sign up for. Travel hacking, however, just keep in mind that this applies mostly to Canadian. All my tips that I said in the video and in this video usually applies to Canadians. However, travel hacking could also be applied for people that are living in America, especially. It's, it's a very big travel hacking community in America, especially the credit card um, industry in America is very very big and it's very possible for you to travel hack if you live in America if you also live in UK and I believe Australia I think those are just on top of my head when I was looking at different credit cards from different countries so there are two things that I could think of that I didn't really explain in my travel hacking video one of them is the annual fee for these credit cards so yes I'm telling you to sign up for the credit cards and Yanni what about the annual fee that's a very good question. So, so I would recommend signing up for credit cards or looking for credit cards that have promotions going on right now. So usually TD Aeroplan credit card, like I said in the video, they have first year annual fee. Now this type of promotion is your best friend because the first year when you sign up, the annual fee is waived and it's free. So all you have to do is keep using the credit card, get the sign up bonus, meet the minimum spending requirements, and collect the points. Now, if there's a credit card like the American Express that have no annual fee waived whatsoever, American Express, they never waive the annual fee from my experience. And usually American Express, especially the platinum credit card, they have a very good perks and benefits to it. One of them that I really, really liked that made me sign up for next year is their unlimited lounge access. Like I said, American Express doesn't really offer first year annual fee waived promotion. So what I would suggest is still sign up for the credit card, just bite the bullet, just pay for the first year annual fee, get the minimum spending requirement and get the bonus points travel bonus points and miles for the credit card put it to aeroplan or wherever or however you want to use it and after the first year before your first year 
ends actually, I would suggest canceling the credit card. And when you cancel the credit card, it will prevent you from paying for the annual fee for the next year because usually most of them are very expensive. Now, which leads me to my next point, what about my credit score? So to tell you the truth right now, when I started signing up for credit cards, and I think I have about eight to 10 credit cards, right? I can show you. I think I have about 10 to eight to 10 credit cards right now. <laughs> I have all of them. That's why that's how we could travel for next year and i actually didn't pay much to this credit card some of them did have the annual fee um however i didn't pay much considering the amount of flights that we were able to book for next year so for the credit score to be honest when i started signing up for credit cards my credit score actually increased so i think it increased 20 to 30 points i am now about 900 credit score now when you sign up for a new credit card you will take a hit on your credit score when you cancel your credit card you will take a hit another hit for your on your credit score i know it sounds a lot but your credit score will not actually stay down there if you still keep on paying your credit card and your debt and your loan if you still keep on paying it fully every month if you keep on paying that every month your credit score will actually increase your credit score will never stay low um if you keep on paying it diligently your credit credit score will always increase so you might take a hit now but if you still keep on paying it monthly on time fully you're gonna go back up that's just how i see it because that what that's what happened to me i did take a hit when i signed up for a credit card i think it's 10 points when you sign up for a credit card and then i'm not sure if how much it is when you cancel because i haven't canceled it yet all i'm saying is don't be scared for your credit score to go low because it will actually just be fine. So now let's focus on application and actually booking the flights after earning all these miles and points. Usually I stocked up all of my points to Aeroplan. If you want to know how I did that, please check out the travel hacking video down below. I'm not going to repeat myself here. So this video, let's focus on the application and what I did. So we booked all our flights through Aeroplan. Now Aeroplan is part of Star Alliance and they are currently the partner or the loyalty program for Air Canada. I don't know what's going to happen for July 2020 because apparently they're all going to switch around but for now they are in partnership with um, Air Canada so when you look at Aeroplan I'm gonna show you a screenshot here so I am now on the Aeroplan website and as you can see they have this thing called flight rewards or the reward chart I would like to call it the reward reward chart they do call it the rewards chart so in the chart as you can see we are from Canada and we would like to travel to Asia too. To travel to Asia too, because our final destination is Philippines, to travel there, we need to earn 90,000 each Aeroplan points. Now, here's the deal with Aeroplan. If you travel intercontinentally with Aeroplan, so from Canada, anywhere from Europe, that's two different continents, or Canada to Asia, those are two different continents, you are allowed two stopovers and one final destination, and technically unlimited um, layovers, but some blogs I read that you're only allowed 16 layovers. Now layover means you're allowed in the country 24 hours or less. A stopover is 24 hours or more, and you're allowed two stopovers. So do you see where I'm going with this? Do you see how we were able to travel the world now? And a final destination, technically, you're allowed there for a year. And then after a year, you have to come back. Now you can do all this and you only have a year to do it. I think I read the only limited to a year to do all this this is what it called mini round the world tour so for our situation we wanted to go to the philippines but we we are allowed one stopover two stopovers and unlimited layovers i also want to add that for one of the stopovers you could substitute that for a an open jaw so what an open jaw means you fly into a country and you continue your leg in a different country to finish your leg now it's your responsibility to go from this country to this country to continue your leg to fly out. Does that make sense? So for example, you fly into Milan and then you have an open jaw and you fly out in Vienna. So you fly into Milan and then you have an open jaw in Vienna, so you fly out in Vienna. So it's your responsibility to go from Milan to Vienna and continue your leg. So that's what we did actually. We have one open jaw. We have one stopovers and I think four to six layovers because that's just how the itinerary works. And we do not want to do the 24 hours or less layovers anyway, even though we are allowed unlimited of them because a lot of hassle. <laughs> it's going to be hard and I don't want to stay in one city for only 24 hours. I want to explore it as much as I can. So what we did is we just utilized having 
an, an open jaw or a stopover and another stopover in Europe so we can explore all of Europe, explore all of Asia and our final destination is Philippines and we can explore all of Philippines and all of Northern Asia like China, Tokyo, Korea, Japan. To earn that 90,000, we had to sign up for credit cards. So the credit cards that I signed up for are the TD, Aeroplan credit card, business credit card. I believe they gave me 45,000 sign up bonus by spending 7,000 in three months or four months. And then I also signed up for the American Express Gold. Fabio also signed up for the American Express Gold. I signed up for the American Express Platinum credit card. It came with a price. I had to pay 499 annual fee, which is okay because the way I see it, it outweighs the cost, right? Because we have unlimited um, airport lounge access. We have 75,000. There's car insurance if I do a car rental. All of these travel credit cards as well give us health insurance for when we travel. But I know it's not for a year, but it's just a limited amount of time, but still. So now that you know that you need 90,000 and the type of credit cards that you should sign up for to achieve the 90,000 Aeroplan points. Now, mind you, this is all focused in Aeroplan. Aeroplan is part of Star Alliance, like I said. So I think you could do this with Star Alliance as well, any Star Alliance airline partnered with. Now that you know which credit card and now that you know you have to get 90,000 each person to fly to Asia, now it's actually your job or what we did is it's your job to build your itinerary. So you cannot book this online since the itinerary is very complicated that you have two stopovers, unlimited layovers, final destination, all that. So you have to call in and book this through the phone and call to, with an agent. So I'm actually going to show you the next clip when we book it on the phone. I recorded the entire conversation. But prior to that, you need to build the itinerary. What that means is you need to find the airline, you need to find the flight number, you need to fly, find the date, the time, and the destination. So we know that we want to go to the Philippines as final destination. But the way we built it is we have one stopover in between the first leg of the tour. So mind you, Philippines is our final stopover. Keep that in mind. So before we get to the Philippines, we wanted to stop over and that stop over is Thailand. Chiang Mai, Thailand to be specific. So a stop over there. So what we did is we had to find a flight that flies from Toronto, YYZ, to Chiang Mai, Thailand. And we did. We have a massive Excel sheet for this. So that Excel sheet includes the flight number, the city that the city origin, the destination, the time of the flight, and the arrival time. So I recorded that. And then after Thailand, we have an open jaw, like I said, right? So Chiang Mai, we're gonna go down and we're gonna go down to Singapore and continue our leg from Singapore to Philippines, which is our final destination. Now it's our job to go from Chiang Mai to Singapore which we're gonna worry about later because there's a lot of train, there's a lot of small flights, I'm sure it's cheaper. So it's our job to go from Chiang Mai to Singapore. To go from Singapore to Philippines, it's, it is our job again to look for the flight. If there's any flight, Star Alliance flights that fly from Singapore to Philippines, luckily there's a lot of them. So we have options. So it's our job again to look for the flight that flies from Singapore to Philippines. So when I found it, I wrote down the flight number, the arrival time, the so on and so forth, you named it. So once in the Philippines, we're gonna stay there longer as well and we're gonna continue the leg by flying home because that's our final destination. So now we're turning around, we're going home to Canada. But before Canada, we, we still have one stopover, remember that. So the stopover that we did is we stopped over in Milan and that's our final stopover before going home to Canada. But we are actually gonna stay in Milan for six months. So this is exactly the reason how we could travel the world for a year for a very cheap price. So what now all of that itinerary, you have to build yourself. Once you have the points, you could actually build everything. Like the world's your oyster. That saying literally is the world's your oyster. It's so exciting. Like we were so excited when we were sitting down, like where are we going? Cause like literally once you have the points, you can fly anywhere in the world. It, just, it That's the most exciting part, building your itinerary and deciding where you wanna go. So just keep in mind that you have, that's your assignment before calling in with an agent, you have to build this in the itinerary and you have, a, you have to have an Excel sheet so that you know where you wanna go. So when you call in, you're just like, hey, I found this flight, I wanna fly in there, I stop over here, I stop over there, this is our final destination, this is the flight number, time, blah, blah, blah. 
So that's what we did. Now, here is the real life example. I hope you, this video is very informative. Stay tuned for the next few minutes for, to show you the real life example, how we booked it on the phone with the aeroplan. Hi there, uh, I would like to book a flight. Um, we would like to go to Manila as final destination, but we would like to make two stopovers in between. Okay, so what's the okay, so you wanna make a stop? So um, as we know we don't fly direct to, to Manila. Uh, so what how was the route you were you were thinking of? So? Right, so I would like to make a stopover in Chiang Mai. Alright, and then from Chiang Mai to Manila, is this what you want to do? Um, Chiang Mai and then can I do a open job? Okay. All right, and then when are you returning from Manila? Uh, from Manila, we're gonna leave whatever routing that's available that's gonna get us to Europe. Yeah, no, I'm, my point is, is uh, it's the round trip. I wanna see whether it works or not. Okay. It does. But what he said is that Chiang Mai is considered as open job, but also stopover, that's what he said. So that's a stopover, that's a stopover, Manila and then another stopover so it's no three. but you're allowed two stopovers you can substitute one of the stopovers as an open jaw and what I understand about open jaw is go to that country and pick up your next flight oh he's to the different city two stopovers mm -hmm. on each way so four stopovers no no total two he's, four, cause he's, he's actually very helpful because he's trying I thought he's gonna be mad but this type of booking is actually annoying to these representatives, um, but it's actually he's actually very helpful because he's actually trying to look for flights for us. And where we're following is you can have all right four maximum years, one stop, one open jaw, plus the point of turnaround. Correct. Okay, and well, that's why I was kind of hoping that we could go um, by taking you through Europe to get to Chiang Mai. Had a We're going from two to go to one, and from one to three. Yeah, but that just told you you can't. We can't do. It, it won't allow us to do that. You, so what's the resulting here is as you have it right now, you're going to Chiang Mai and you're having to stop, mm -hmm. and then you're going on to Manila, you're having to stop. Mm -hmm. But that's two continents. You can't have the third one in to come back to Milan. So uh, via Milan, that doesn't allow us. To Maybe sit down and have, take a pencil and, and figure out where, how you want to do that. But you can't get, what we're telling you right now is you can get to Chiang Mai, you mm -hmm. can go to get to Manila, but you can't get from Manila. Okay, sounds good. Thank you. You have a good day now. Bye. Hi, I'm looking to book a flight for next year. Mm -hmm. um, it's gonna be a multiple stopovers. I wonder if you could assist me. Final destination, Philippines, and then Philippines home, and then a stopover in Europe. Would that be possible? Or do I have to do it? I'll have to validate it. Can you give me, sure. like, so Toronto to Chiang Mai, and then to Manila? Yes. Um, what what is the deal with that with an open jaw? How do we do that open jaw? So can we do like Chiang Mai? You cannot have two stops. You cannot have two stops if you have an open jaw. The one open jaw replaces the one stop. Sure. So can we do one open jaw and one stop? Okay. So tell me please. Sure. The plan. Give me a bird's eye view, and then I can see if it's valid or not. Sure. So from Toronto to Bang uh, Chiang Mai. Okay, and then. Singapore to Manila on the. Did you want to leave Singapore um, morning, midday, afternoon? I saw a flight evening. leaving from at nine thirty. Is that possible? So morning then. Yeah. Nine thirty a.m. into Manila at one o five. Okay, so if um, your point of 
turn around, the destination here is really Singapore. It's not Manila. If we do that, then it's valid. Yeah, let's do it that way. As long as Manila, and then sure. You want to go to Milan via Beijing, and then Milan, Vienna, Toronto. Yes. That's your route. Yes. So are you still going to change it? Uh, no, that sounds good. If it's valid, then let's go for it. Um, okay. As long as the dates that I gave you are exact, right? How is it valid with yeah, this? So there's really seat on the 15th now. So um, Singapore is on April 2nd, leaving Singapore at 9.30 at 8.40 in the morning into Vienna at 10.05. Okay. All right, so who are the passengers as appears on the passports, please? Um, so my name, Bayani. Oh, the things that happens when you, you're just nice to people. Usually I'm not nice. As Fabio, I'm always a bitch. Yes. Talking to people on the phone. We had a lot of fights. But, but this time around, I have to be nice because I'm doing... I'm asking them for a favor. Oh my god, this is happening. It's happening. We're booking it. Could you verify your email address, Mr. Makute? So, your friends call you Yanni? Yes. That's nice. <laughs> it's easier to so pronounce. 90,000 miles per ticket times two, it will be a total of 180,000 miles from your account. Perfect. Okay? Yeah. Right. She's on mute. Every time we talk, she's on mute. Okay, so. I love it. I wish I could meet the her in person. Thing is your uh, airport taxes is uh, like high. Well, you're going all over. How much is it total? Um, It is. I was thinking it will be less because it's like. Air China. Yeah, Europe, that's what I thought. It's one thousand one dollars and sixteen cents. So just in Manila, or you have to go somewhere else? Oh, we're gonna go somewhere else. We're gonna travel everywhere. In the Philippines. Yes. April, May. Oh. Yeah. Wow! I just realized <laughs> April, May, June. Yeah, it is actually a whole. It is actually. May, June. Yeah. Wow, that is like over two months. It is actually a whole year travel break for us. So. We are. Okay, okay. So, you know the flight back home to Toronto? We're planning to extend that later, at a later date. You might extend that. December. <laughs> oh, okay. It's crazy, okay. right? So, oh, <laughs> yes, exactly. Wow. So, we have best of both worlds. We have a place to stay in Asia, Philippines, which is my country, and Fabio, which is from Milan. So, oh. yeah, so we took the leap, literally. Like, we're like, let's just take a year break and travel. Yeah. You're right? Yeah. So I guess thanks to you, I guess the itinerary that I that we built worked out. Yeah, well you research it first, but yes. I, was I just wish you had you have a better flight going to Chiang Mai. That's okay. Whatever is available. So you're overnighting in Hong Kong? Alright, okay. Yeah. And then so we'll proceed here. Now the only added $30 each? Yeah. That's fine? Yes. yes. Alright, everything's fine with Mr. Makote. You're so easy to deal with. Oh, you are the best customer <laughs> service to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> Thank so you. Alright, so now, whenever you're ready, uh, if you could please type into your telephone keypad the credit card number followed by the phone key. Well, how were you able to have a year off from work? <laughs> well, Every you have your own business. I have my own business too, um, but everything worked out. I've been wanting to quit. It is. We're so excited actually. So, yeah. Are you going to be six months in Milan or you'll no. extend your Manila as well? No, we're going to... We're not just going to stay in Milan. We're going to travel around Europe, around Middle East country because okay. it's closer right. there. And, uh -huh. uh, and all that. Yeah. You can train it. You can, yeah. Yeah, exactly. So... And yeah, we're, we want to see Fabio's family, spend time with Fabio's family too. So if you want to follow our YouTube channel, go on your phone. Four and three, did you want window and middle seat, middle seat and aisle? We, would, you want? we would like uh, middle and window, please. Middle and window, okay. So yeah. I got you 32A and B. Yeah. And that's really still towards the front and behind and exit room. <laughs> it's so cute. If you can upgrade that to business class, bitch! <laughs> And then, now I give you a booking reference. Why? For Yankee number seven. Bravo. Okay. And then, um, yeah, so you're good. Thank you so much. 
You're welcome. This I'm is so excited. excited about your trip. It's already on your email. Do you want to check it? Yeah, I'll check it. There. This is so exciting. Thank okay. you. Okay. So you take care of yourselves and behave yourself. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> be wise around wherever you will be. Okay, you have a good day. You too. Thank you for calling Aeroplan. Okay, bye Bye. Bye-bye. Fabio, it's booked! <laughs> Let me make a Facebook status. Alright guys, so we, everything is booked now. Fabio is in the washroom pooping. Um, I'm so excited. So we've been planning this since January 2019. I actually want to cry um, because it took a lot for me to get here. I When I decided to travel the world for next year with Fabio, it took a lot of courage because it's not easy. You have a life here. I have all my stuff in this apartment. What am I going to do? I need to find someone who can live here. I have a job. I had a job. I have my friends and family here. And it's like going into the unknown to the world, to travel the world for one year. I'm going to be gone for one year. Oh my God. So yeah, that's it. Um, we just booked everything. I was just telling them that it's actually hard to get here, like planning this. I mean, oh it was hard gosh. for me to give up everything here. So the lady was so nice. Our itinerary that we built, it was, was so perfect. nice. It was perfect. Um, and she said that we did our research and yeah. made everything so easy. Like so. Fabio and I literally sat down, looked at the options and built our itinerary, look at the flight as well. And she was very helpful. And ah, oh, it's finally happening. So from the January, once we decided, we started travel hacking. We started telling our friends that we're going to travel for a year. And now it's actually booked. And now it's booked and it's possible. Like, like March until now, there was still a lot of doubts in our heads. Like, are we actually doing this? Yeah. We can't back out now because we told everyone already. And now we're doing it. And now it's happening. It's happening, guys. It's all paid. That's done. It's done. It's done. I gave and we had to pay card. very little fee for all this year travel. Congrats. Oh my god! Guys. Yeah, I guess that's it. We'll see you in Chiang Mai. <laughs> <laughs> no, because that's our first stop. No, we'll see you at the airport because we're going to be vlogging everything. Oh, Bye, it. guys. Bye.